So I have a little extra side project that I've been meaning to work on. I need to get some extra lighting in the shop. My portable spotlight thing has broken. I don't know what happened to it. It just winked out one day when I was using it. And I tested all the switches and the wires. It seems to be functioning, but it just there's no power going to the light bulbs. So I don't think the light bulbs burnt out because they all went out at the same time. So something happened to it. But I really hate this thing. Um, it's just heavy, clunky. I trip on these all the time. The wires, the hoses get caught up on the feet. And these halogen bulbs get very hot, which uh, is a hazard in the shop. So I, I really didn't like this thing anyways. I, I wish I had never bought it. It cost like 80, 80 bucks at Home Depot. And uh, it's, it's really truly a piece of junk. Like everything's loose, these adjustments don't work, and it's, it's just been a hassle. So, uh, I had an idea to make some shop lighting out of these LED floodlights. So, I, I bought these on eBay. It has a 30 watt LED light chip inside of it, which is the equivalent of a 300 watt halogen and they're outdoor rated all enclosed and they shouldn't get very hot so i think they'll be safer to use in the shop and i can i can have you know some kind of versatile way to put these on to you know i'll screw them onto the posts or i'll, I'll figure out some way to attach these to put them where i need to um, my project is to figure out how to wire a switch onto the housing i got these switches so I'll be able to turn each light on and off. It's intended to be mounted outside into an exterior electrical box. But having the extra switch will enable me to use it inside when I need to. So these, these switches I also got on eBay. They're fairly cheap. They have leads hardwired into the switch. And I got this kind over here that has... We'll, we'll need leads soldered onto the switch. And I got some various parts at Home Depot. I'm going to try to figure out how to use these pipe clamp things. These are hangers for plumbing, and I'm going to try to incorporate this uh, to mount onto the housing of my LED lamp, and this will clamp onto a pipe clamp, which I can clamp onto a post, or I can clamp it onto a shop cart for mobile lighting. And I got some replacement electrical cords, so I can hook up each lamp to a six foot cord. I also got a good deal on these um, power strips. So if I have the lamps mounted overhead, where the switches will be out of reach on the on the lamps, I can use the power strip switch, and I can gang several lamps up together that way. So I don't know which what I'm really going to need here. I just bought a bunch of stuff, and you know I'll return what I don't use. But uh, hopefully this will work out, improve my lighting situation in the shop.
So my prototype portable shop light thing is complete. I have my pipe clamps clamped on to this portable work surface that I drag around the shop and use for various things like stacking wood and doing finish work. It seems to be the right size for this thing. You know, it's pretty stable. I can use taller pipe clamps if I want to get more height or I can just clamp them on to a taller work surface. I'll see how this works out for now. I like having it at different levels. I have all three plugged into this one power strip so I can just turn this on and that turns on all three lamps. Gives off a fair amount of light. So that was fun. I like to experiment. I wasn't sure how these were going to work. These LEDs are made in China, so you never know exactly what's going to happen. But so far, so good. It's nice that I have the switches on each lamp if I want to turn one off or just use one at a time. I've got five more of these. Oh, hello, kitty. So I can make another one of these and maybe have two more to replace these lamps with if I choose to. But for now I'm just going to see how this setup works out. I'd like to get more spotlighting around the table saw. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. I might hang something from the ceiling or attach something to the shelf right here. So I'll be working on that later on. Maybe if I just build two of these that would be enough. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I always have fun trying new things. So hopefully I can return most of this stuff at Home Depot. I found these uh the style pipe hanger with the two screws worked a little bit better than this one with the hinge. And this uh, having one screw seemed a little bit more difficult. Um, and I need to get more of these more of these bolts. These ones are too short. So I need to get the one inch size. So no, I, have, I have one more. So all right, I'll start rambling. It's late. And, uh, yeah. Have a good day.